Hey, hello. Kay Kaylee goes, have fun. I go, I always freaking have fun with Elijah. How's it going? Going very well. How's it going with you? Very good. Very, <clears throat> very good. I'm, I'm, Kaylee's now done all her exams. So she's helping me kind of get tweak kind of the final look or the semi-final look of my speech. Okay. And then, and then we're going to test it. And then you're going to get a copy. Okay. When's that going to happen? Well, we're going to do that on, it's either going to be Friday, this Friday or Monday morning. Okay. Because we, we are talking to Rhonda this afternoon, the lady that we got to get it to. She needs it in an MP4 version, whatever that means. I have no clue. Yeah. I mean, that's your, what are you making it in? I don't know. What should we make it in, Elijah? So you're, you don't even have an editing program? I don't know. Kaylee said we're using, she said Zoom. But can you record, can you do it in Zoom and just? Yeah, you can do it in Zoom, but then. Um, like I had no clue. I'm just kind of expecting her to know. Right. Um, so you're not, yeah. no, because I mean, Zoom, you can make it, but you can't do any editing. Oh. And maybe, maybe I should edit it for you. Okay, so where should we make it then in order to get it edited? Well, I mean, you can make it in Zoom, then you can mm -hmm. send it to me, and then I could inflow matrix it. Oh, okay. Because okay. I, can, I can edit it and add the add like, here's the flow wheel, here's the synergy wheel, and here's, you know, whatever you say, I can sort of um, okay. pop it up kind of thing. So can we, can I, are you okay with, um, sharing the screen and I'm going to take you through the PowerPoint for now, just so you can kind of see an idea. Okay. And then I want to see where I want to fit in because what I want to do is be able to say that in my business, I used the synergy wheel. I don't want to get it too complicated, but I want to create curiosity for people to ask. And the part that I haven't gotten in here yet is this part here. It's all about, um, I recently read something from the Dalai Lama. He said that companies are living complex organisms, not profit-making machines. Profit should not be the object of a company, but rather the result of good work. And then to that, I got a really good quote, and it's profit is the applause you get creating a motivating environment for your people and taking care of your customers. Mm -hmm. And then I go into values are very important to me in my life personally and within my business. And then I brought in a little bit of that. I don't even know how that's exactly going to look yet, but that's where I want to somehow bring in the info matrix, like bring in that part of it. Okay, so well, you can share the screen if you want to pop okay. it. Okay, so share screen and share. Just so you can kind of see an idea, like you're so freaking creative with this kind of stuff. Okay, so I mean, it's, it's a little bit boring right now, but so you can see the first slide. Okay. Okay. And then, so wave of leadership, we're going to tweak this up. I don't know, maybe take some of this stuff. And then we're going to, it's a picture. It doesn't have to say pause, but this is going to be a picture of me looking in the mirror in my old office. I'm going to be sitting there like this because when my mom died and I had a pause in my life, right. I'm sure all of you have had pauses and we are in a world pause right now with COVID. I said, but my pause came 15 years ago when my mom died at age 62. So kind of the questions there are like, what's my purpose? What are we here on this planet for? Like that kind of stuff, right. things I didn't know the answers for at that time. And then it'll link me and take me into um, how I got introduced to the Enneagram. Okay. Okay. So, so that's that part. And I've got all the speaking notes are on a different paper and I'm going to, you know, then I ended up at the Enneagram Institute. So I got a bit of a story to tell here about going there, but then also realizing, Elijah, that, okay, I go to the Institute, I'm doing this training, and I'm going, oh my goodness, how can I bring this into the world of money? I'm a financial advisor. How can I bring this into the world of money? So Russ Hudson, my teacher, told me I needed to meet Margaret Smith. So I'm going to have a picture of Margaret and I, and then a picture of her book. Okay. And that's what guided me to bringing, creating this and bringing this into my company. Okay. I mean, there's a little bit 
more highlights on it, but just for now, and we've got to give these all a really nice look. Okay. Then I go into what Enneagram, the history of the Enneagram, a brief history of the Enneagram. So I'm, I'm thinking somewhere along here, using this in my business, I want to say, you know, like you'll learn this later, but just to let you know, I'm a type seven and I run my company and I have one of my key employees is a type one. They see everything in little detail and the seven sees things in the big, big world picture. So you can just see how difficult that could possibly be for two people working together that see things so differently. Right. So there's times I know she's going sitting there like this going, oh, what does she want? And I'm sitting there going, I don't need all those details. But kind of like that. So it kind of touches people to go, oh, okay, that happens within business. I'm not positive where that's going to fit in yet. But so I go through the history of the Enneagram. It's not very long, but it's just the history and that it's 2,500 years old. And it's, you know, I've got all the speaking notes. Then I go into the Enneagram of personalities. So there's all the personalities. This isn't the right slide for this, but Kaylee and I are just outlining it for now. And then from there, I am going to, I, I don't know if this is where I want to add this. We don't know yet. And I'm thinking after Elijah, and I'll show you why. So I'm going to go through all the personality types. I decided I'm going to go through them because this is all about leadership in your, in yourself, your organization, and your community. And I say to be a good leader, it's about the growth you do within yourself. But then I go to each of the personalities. So I'm going to start here at their best and at their worst and really make it extreme, right? So type one, right? At their best, they have a sense of integrity that drives them in all the good endeavors, doing what's best for the greater good. But at their worst, they are self-righteous, cruel, hypocritical. They act out repressed desires that they condemn in, them, in others, but justify in themselves. So what I want this to do for people is have an opportunity to see all nine of them so they can maybe feel, and if you see, we use the colors, eh? And they can kind of feel. So I thought, you know, with a, we originally had it with just two people on there, but now it's like, okay, one of these faces are going to be familiar, right? Oh, that's good. I like the yeah. format. It looks really good. Okay. There's four, five, six, seven eight and nine. So I've got my talking notes and I've got, I've got extra notes, but I'm going to really tweak it down to what do I want to say about each of the types? Because originally this was a circle with the number in the center with a face of somebody on each side of it. And then it was desires and biggest fear. And I thought this was better at their best, at their worst in levels of health. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, it's a good start. And then I'm not sure why she's in here, but it's going to fit. Find out who you are and then do it on purpose. Now, whether I'm going to use this, Elijah, I'm not positive yet. Well, that, that's a good summing up of the nine personalities. Of, of As soon as you oh. finish that, then you go up and you go, when you know your personality type, it really helps you to look at what your pur purpose is and how you're going to do it. Right. And how you show up in the world. Yeah. Okay. So this is good. And I mean, it's Dolly Parton. Everybody knows Dolly Parton, right? So then it goes to, as a leader, when you light your own candle, it allows you to light a million others. So in other words, coming back to yourself, because then you can illuminate yourself out to the world by making a difference in others. What's that? And then my story of being a, a seven, like the next shiny object or the monkey on the trapeze. So I'm going to get into a little more detail about my type seven. And then an offer, but I have a finale. And I don't know what I'm going to put in the finale yet. Let me just pull this up uh, right here. Okay, so I'm leading with my story. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, there's my story, how I got connected to the Enneagram, picture of the barn, picture of Lori and Margaret, the book. And then I went into here, understanding yourself is the best thing you can do in life. I know it was for me. It helped create a very much stronger relation foundation in my life for building better relationships in all areas with better depth and clarity. 
It truly is nine mirrors of self-reflection in yourself, your family, business, both personal and professional, with my team, my clients, as well as friendships and my intimate relationships. And I'm looking, I'm going to read through all this and go, okay, now I've got a little story to tell here. So I bring it back to a real story for me. So I haven't gone into the stress and the growth lines yet, which I kind of thought the reason I might do that, Elijah, is when I actually go to the next shiny object as a seven, I'm going to show just this Enneagram with the seven going to the one and the five and how, you know, and I want that, I don't know where yet, but I want to go into saying that, you know, the Visionary Hub, which is something we've launched, it has been in my mind for 15, 18 years. And I always thought it was the stress line of my type seven, as you see, goes to perfection. I always thought it was my stress line that was holding me back from making this happen. Guess what I found out? I found out it was actually my growth line, which is type five. And it was all about not having to have it perfect going to my stress, but going to the five as, as the individual, as the investigator, it was about, I need more knowledge. I don't know enough. I need more knowledge. So that's, I, I think that's a real life story because that was an aha moment for me when I found out it was not my stress line. So I said, never be afraid to address that stress and growth line because often if you go, Hmm, if I go into that personality, I go to stress. That's where I've had my biggest growth. Not only have I had a couple staff that have been type ones, I live with my life partners, a type one. And that's where I've had most of my own growth. So it kind of brings in this reflection here of nine mirrors. So then I went into, you know, our business is an extension of us and our team and I continue to inspire them to bring more of themselves into the workspace. But there, and there's many other models, but I have found the Enneagram to be the best one for me and my company. So I, I don't know, I'll let this will have to be, I'm gonna send this to you, okay? okay? Okay. And then leadership for me has not been about being good at telling others what to do. It's more about being a leader in self-development first. And as you'll see, like a type seven personality is all about I want to know more. I want to learn. I just thrive on learning. After all, our people in our business are really waiting for us to show up. So embracing the Enneagram has allowed me to do that, just that, show up for myself, my team, my business, my family, and my community. So then I got the brief history. This is probably kind of in the wrong order, but I'll see. So here's my brief history, Elijah. I don't know if I need to read it all out loud, but kind of what's any, what's the gram? Um, and then the Enneagram is the typing system believed to have roots in, I don't know, like, I wonder if I should go into the Judeo-Christian Sufi mysticism. So are what you going to read this kind of like, read it in video form kind of thing, like read it out, like from a written statement kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For that part, I would. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think? Do you think that's enough? Just those two paragraphs or whatever? Um, And I'll say just to give you a brief history on the how powerful this is and how ancient it is. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. I think it's yeah, okay. Yeah, and then and then I put oh, where did it go? Ah, and I had is something old, something new. So the enneagram itself is old, but bringing it into the world of business, into the world of personalities, is not that old. Right. So it's, I have it, it's in here somewhere and it's called something old, something new. So if you've ever wondered what makes you trip, and then I talk about just the Enneagram guide you out of a box, not into a box. So under understanding yourself, we got that brief history. Um, when you have this understanding as a leader in your organization or your community, who you are in context of the Enneagram personality typing system, you really can begin to peel back the mask to reveal the radiant and powerful being that you truly are. This truly is a blessing in the world of business that is not only elevates who you are, but allows our employees and our teams to shine with their gifts. Are you going to, if you're going to do it in Zoom, 
Mm -hmm. Make sure your lighting, see the difference between our lighting and our faces? Like, yeah. make sure you have a lot of writing. And are you doing it with a background or are you doing it in your office? I have a background up there. We have a really nice background in the, in the loft. Okay. And it's got two shelves behind me. So I might get my map, you know, my business map. I might put that up behind me. And then I've got a nice stone, an amethyst stone. And then I've got one of those gongs. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to kind of put that look behind there. Um, I have a ring light. I have a microphone. Okay. okay. So Marion Little Wolf story. She's a First Nations lady that saw the tool of the Enneagram and the inflow matrix. And she asked, can we create this for First Nations? She's an HR person at a casino south of Yorkton. She's a type four like you. So she's already asked about the inflow. She's already asked about it. Yeah. We should have a, a Zoom call with her. Oh, I know. She is amazing because maybe we can tap into like a freaking casino HR because she's all about, her and I understand this immensely, Elijah. She, she said, you know, what they're doing is they're writing exit strategies for people, you know, in an organization. Yeah. Well, why can't you have such a good intro so that you're, they're learning so that the extra is just smooth. If people need to leave, they leave, right? Hmm. So something that I did in my investment business that we are now implementing into the Visionary Hub is an any of thought. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in there. These are just all my big notes. So the any of thought is like your horoscope every week. So as you see this, Elijah, and you go, oh, that's where the inflow could fit in. Okay, so Marion Little Wolf's story is she was dealing with another financial advisor. She booked an appointment with me. She came in and she said, my fin old financial advisor told me that I needed to save $1,000 a month. And I looked at Marion and I go, how did that make you feel? And she goes, that made me feel awful because I can't save $1,000 a month. Let's fast forward four years. She never had a house. She hadn't done a tax return for five years. She had a vehicle that had payments. She didn't have much money saved up. Today, she's maxed out on her tax-free savings. She has her vehicle paid off. She now is a homeowner. And she's got a bunch of money saved in an RSP. Wow. So just by going through the discovery process with her, she got an understanding. But if she had stuck with that old advisor with that fear of, oh my God, I got to save a thousand dollars a month. What would that have done for her? Mm. Right? So that's, that's, that's someone to get a video testimonial from. Okay. That's a great idea. Like I would say, like how many people have you put through the video? I mean, through your process and how many of them could you get a video testimonial from? I'm thinking I might be able to get maybe five. I would like, I would write that down as a high priority. Okay. Something that, you know, that's, that's going to be like almost your most important thing on your website and, mo and most important, right. like it's, it's your credit. That's your credibility. Conversation. Really? Okay. So there's a woman like, and whether they'll do a video or whether it'll be just in writing, some of them might not talk it. I don't know, but get this Elijah. There's a woman that was a massage therapist right? She had a massage therapist in her house, but she also worked for like people with disabilities. So I said, so can you tell me how much do you make an hour? And I did the discovery process with her. She's a client. How much do you make an hour doing your job? She goes 20 bucks. I said, how much do you make an hour doing a massage? She goes $80. I go, why are you not doing massages? Guess what? She came in about uh, two months ago. She has, she's made more money she's ever made in her life. She quit her job and she's doing total massage therapy through COVID. Wow. So she's a testimonial. Yeah. I mean, that, that's a huge testimonial. Okay. And then I had a couple that they had been doing the discovery process. They did the manual life one. They did all that. They retired three years sooner and they were totally prepared to move to Vancouver Island because they had prepared for it. I got them prepared. She ended up getting cancer. So that's what made them move faster. But they said, had we not done the discovery process with Lori, we never would have been prepared. Wow. Shoot. And the cancer pushed them into it, right? Right. Okay. So, um, so they are implementing. So I don't know. And then all this is, is this is a little bit about each of the types. So I just wasn't sure. Go back sure. to that any a thought thing. 
Okay, so what the Ennea thought is, it's like a horoscope that you get every week. And you can get up to two types. So you can get your type and your wing, or you can get your type and one of your staff's type. So all of us at LR Future, we got our Ennea thoughts. So every morning, it's the same context, but then it tells you how a one responds, how a two responds. Oh. Every day we had a water cooler conversation around the Ennea thought. And we all read it off. So we understood where we were all coming from within our personalities through the same context. Okay. That was a really cool exercise. And it was just an automatic every day, Monday to Friday, water cooler talk. Okay. Okay. So I don't know. I, like, And then what I was going to do is put a, a sample example of it and what it looked like. Okay. I don't know. I, I, I just put it in there going, I wasn't sure. I'll grab one of mine. And then maybe I put my put myself and another type, type two or something, because I have Wendy's in there all the time because she was my closest connection. So then this here, I just did these notes up going, okay, what do I want to know about the types or what will my audience want to know about the types? And as I was doing this, I thought, hmm, Rhonda asked me, the lady from the Wave of Leadership, Age Friendly Business, she says, well, Lori, when you go down in a level of health, when you go down to average or unhealthy how do you get back up like what is it in you that allows you to get back up there because often people go into like a doom and gloom or something like that right so this is self -talk. right here their self-talk is a type one okay so i don't know how important all of this is or not in my presentation i just know i have to be on for an hour okay so there's one and then so i did kind of the same stuff for each one I did their, all their self-talk. So I have to have three takeaways. So one of my takeaways is going to be a summary of the types. Kaylee's going to do it up really nice. Another one, what we're thinking is Kaylee and I are going to create a program called Finding Your Clear Path. Because clear path is with values, is with who you are in personality. And we thought if we can get something created, then we can offer for free these whoever wants to come on to our Finding Your Clear, clear Path beta group. Okay. What do you think? Because if I offered, let's say I offered a values map, or let's say I offered a half hour consult, and there's 400 people on there, and they all contacted me. So my takeaways, and she's creating a little package to email to all the participants after. So I've got to figure out what I want for takeaways, Elijah. How about the set of the condo killers? <gasps> but what if 200 people want them? Just Oh, I email them to them. Yeah. And that, be oh. that begins the, that begins. Right. Yeah, I, you might want to. And because I'm, I'm getting like there's like this is your main thing, right? In terms of what you've been trained in and you know and you're yeah. prepared for you. So you can talk about this stuff. And I, I understand that. Um, yeah. But the again, I say to you like the uniqueness you have or we have mm -hmm. that no one else is bringing forth my work into the world, right? Yeah. yeah. So in a sense, you're competing against other personality. Like, do you want to be a person, uh, an Enneagram? profile coach just that no and be seen as that or is that just part of your toolkit just part of my toolkit that's it i definitely don't want to be seen as just in any of them it's bigger than that elijah right. so because because i think that you know you're and that's why i wanted you just to kind of like do it and then see what comes out mm -hmm. because i find sometimes when i'm when i'm doing a video yeah i don't even know quite what's going to come out but I'm trained myself just to speak and something comes out. And then afterwards I go, okay, that was interesting. Now it may be good. It may not, but it's, it's a different way of doing it than really getting stylish about exactly what you're going to say. Right. Okay. Because in a sense, you got to trust your visionary side. Mm -hmm. And if you're, what I'm seeing is you're going down into the detail of yeah. the gram profile, which, yeah. is, which is safe. Yeah. Which is, which is okay. But I mean, there's a lot of other people doing that. Right. Right. And you want to come across as somebody who's got something unique that no one has. Mm -hmm. And anyway, that's that's one take. 
so what where what I was looking at was okay, where can I incorporate? So yeah, they've learned a little bit about personalities, but going a step above and beyond is that uniqueness that has been created that you've been working on for 27 years that I, that I we have access to now. Like, how can I blend that? Because I everybody wants to know about themselves, right? Mm. Everybody wants to know about themselves. But how can we take what we've learned now about ourselves into, because if I really think about the Enneagram, not long after me doing the training, I got introduced to you, Elijah. And you got a freaking nine point value system, an inflow matrix system that was totally blended. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know any other business systems based on the Enneagram, too. I mean, no. there's John Bennett under Gurdjieff created a map of one, but yeah. not, Did he? Not, not, yeah, if you have you got the book, uh, The Enneagram by John Bennett? No, I would suggest that. Okay. That's where I first got the idea of processes on the Enneagram, uh, where he puts a kitchen process and a manufacturing process on it. No way. And that's that that was the beginning of my research kind of in that direction. Because wow. Gurdjieff was the only person who was coming across with it as the process map. Yeah. The, the others uh, were taken from the personality profile point of view, which is, you know, as you know, fine, but it's yeah. different. It's very quite different from both. I mean, it's quite different from the other one. When you put both together, that's where you've got something, I think, pretty powerful. Something uh, so powerful. Also, so what if, mm -hmm. Well, just what it, you, you're not using the seven step process to mm -hmm. start. Like I would break it up because like you got to break it up and get used to breaking it up and making yeah. processes with the start, the setup, the build up, the yeah. crescendo, the ease out connect. Because then you're, you're going to start to, you're basically working at a, a higher level of abstraction on everything you're doing and creating that same kind of pulse you're 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 yeah. bringing in okay what's my crescendo like you mm -hmm. should be asking what is my crescendo mm -hmm. and that you know that's what you have to decide for yourself in terms of you know how do you, do you want to come across as a visionary with the visionary hub who's bringing in conscious value systems and uh the new paradigm toolkit and part yeah. of the new paradigm toolkit mm -hmm. is you know uh looking at because what I saw in the beginning when you saw the inflow matrix, I would put the five communication spaces map there uh -huh. and then use that as the structure to look at, okay, the Enneagram fits in the personal space. Uh -huh. So the personality profiles is defining the inner personal space of people, but then those personal those Enneagram types are interacting one-on-one. -on -one. Like the one is interacting with the nine, the two is interacting with the, the three right. in the one-on-one -on -one space. And then in the group space, they're coming together as teams. Right. And this type of sort of sophistication of the personal space is what you are bringing into the world. You are bringing in, you know, new paradigm tools to change the thinking of how we organize our mind and how we organize then our, our file folders and then how we organize our business. And then you might, you could have the new paradigm map up there too. Mm -hmm. The one that's just distinguished like the big picture because you're coming across as the, the big picture is yeah. we want to change from this old economic fear-based paradigm, which I worked in. We want to create a new, new base paradigm, which is love centered. Oh my gosh. So which map are you talking about? The one that's got that funnel that goes and it says we're coming out of fear and going into love and it's got the US flag and the Canadian flag? No, that's that that's the detailed one, but I just have a very basic one that okay. has um, the, the funnel, the old paradigm, new paradigm, love and fear and past, present, future. So I got a very simple one for that. Okay, so, so would that blend into, so now we've talked about you personally or us personally and the growth I've done in myself to become a good leader and that I've offered to my team so they know their types and it's growing them. But now we have this tool through the visionary hub that takes us to that. And then I tell a bit of a story there, Elijah. So maybe that's where that comes in is right after I go through all the individuals because as you said, you know, the Enneagram it, of personalities is each person individually. And then I was introduced to 
a new paradigm mapping system that I brought into my business in 2012. Because I, I, I think that the, um, I mean, I, don't I, I mean, the problem is I, I don't want to make you know, it complicated. Of, well, no, not just that. I mean, I don't want to bring in my hidden or, or not so hidden agenda of my own work, right? Where I see, I don't want to influence you too much because if you want to go Enneagram personality profiles, that's your main thing. I, you know, I don't want to honor that and not, you know, push my stuff. I mean, so yeah. it's obviously, um, I think that <laughs> my work is, you know, needs to be pushed because I, I need that. Or <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? The conversation killers. Now, what if we didn't get too complicated with it? And we go, here's something we use. Because I can tell the story of how we used it in our office. We yeah. put the conversation killers all around our 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 bulletin board in the office in a central area. Everybody was aware of all of them. And then we had a thing in our office where if you if you were using a conversation killer, we could challenge you and you had to put a loony in the pot, like how we have fun in our office, but how aware it made me that interruption was a key thing for me. So I think I'm gonna need a couple convo cards. Okay. I think you're right. Elijah, I think if I go into something like that, because that's an individual thing, but we used it in a team environment, it's actually a team environment thing, and then I show a couple convo cards and how powerful this is, and then I email them. If anybody that wants, they get a set of convo cards. Not the and convo then, cards, the, the convo killer cards. I mean, the, the conversation killer cards. Yeah. Yeah. The convo killer cards. I think that would be great because where's the biggest barriers in, in people getting along is communication and convo killers. So I, I would say probably like the seven, the finish yeah. would be you going beginning into, okay, here's, here's like between the different types, mm -hmm. these conversational killers come in and this is another toolkit. This is another tool from the new paradigm toolkit. Mm -hmm. And what I found is, you know, blah, blah, blah about communication and then do your spiel about the condo killers and mm -hmm. end with, and if you want, you know, I will send you a copy of them, mm -hmm. uh, normally priced, let's say $30 or something like that. And because you're here right now, we'll give it to you. Yeah. for free. Oh. I, I, see, I, see, I see the condo killers as our entry, sort of like our, gift, oh, our gifting convo. So that could be like your seven is a gifting convo. Yeah, I, I think yeah. you got to look at the seven steps and choose a con. Like, this is a really good thing for you, Lori, because you really haven't done it yet. Is yeah. you have to choose a conversation type for each step. Once, like, this is the biggest thing that you need to learn. Okay. Seven steps, mm -hmm. a different convo type for each one. And that creates your like magical process. That's okay. you turn it into an ideal job. You can turn it into a program. You can, yeah. that process has incredible creativity towards it okay that's what i need because i overthink everything elijah and if i can allow those convo cards to come forward everything just flows mm. i know i this is i mean you could even you know if you want to be daring right now yeah. uh yeah. you could pull out your convo card deck and mm -hmm. you know put seven in a row put the intention of what could be the best way to do this uh talk and uh, see what comes up. And maybe we can use that to sort of brainstorm a bit. I'm gonna go grab them, just a second. Okay. Just to give some context, uh, Lori is preparing for a talk, uh, I think a, a rather large talk, part of I think a seminar series in a few weeks. And she's uh, attempting to formulate about a 45 minute or one hour talk. And so, what I'm doing is looking at what she has in terms of her content and then how you can bring in a structure, which is called the seven step pulse, uh, pulse process structure. What'd you say? I'm just giving some context to the viewing audience in case anyone is oh. watch, watches this. Cool. Okay. So I have the convo killers. Okay. Okay. So now what we're doing, Elijah, is we're going to set up the seven steps. You're saying the seven step or how we're going to incorporate the convo killers into my talk. 
not the convo killers, the convo types. Oh, the convo type. Oh, yeah. I want them in a box like yours. Okay. Because they're all separate. I know I I went to order them, but they're yeah. because of COVID or something, they're not in stock. Oh. Uh, we, we were just about to order 20 of them, and so I have to find yeah. a better box. Okay, so I got the choice cards. Okay. I've got the harmony cards. Okay. I've got the flow cards. Okay. And I've got the synergy cards. Okay. So Did the inner group. And what about the conver conversation types too? Uh, they're all blended, I think. No, those those aren't combo types. Oh, I don't know if we have the combo types. The purple ones. Oh, oh, duh. These are the combo killers. I got to go get the combo types. <laughs> So just to finish the seven step pulse was one is the start, two is the setup, three is the build up, four is the crescendo, five is the ease out. I left them, you by seven I left them on top of the filing cabinet. So there they are. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now uh, set your intention uh, mm -hmm. to create the best structure for your upcoming talk. And then uh, shuffle the cards and then go from create like seven in front of you and put seven down in front of you. Okay. Or, or there's another way you could do this. Uh -huh. You could go through the convo cards mm -hmm. and choose seven to 12 convo types that you think has to be in this talk. Mm -hmm. And then we could divine the order. Which one do you want to do first? Which one would you prefer? I think what I'll do is I'll go through and no, I'm just going to let it happen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this is like, I think we don't have a lot of time, a lot of time, right? Like we, we, we would like to put months into things, but sometimes we don't. And the whole yeah. idea of divination is it does work better sometimes in consciously choosing. So yeah. it's, it's being surrendered to the universe to allow a, a different way to think about how you're process because what i'm seeing you're doing it's very linear it's very by the book but you're actually not using the tools to do it mm -hmm. so which is fine but that's yeah. why I, i'm here to help right you know elijah i'm feeling like once i can get this talk done then i just want to totally go and say hey i want to put all this together now so that everything that comes up i'm using just this because you're right i'm still linear because i came out of that financial world right mm. And I see people, they're trying to decide. You let them look at cards. It'll take, I said, we can look at these. It's good. We're going to be here for a month. Yeah. Or you can just trust that what's supposed to show up will. Yeah. So do I pick a card from each, from, I pick seven cards from here? Yeah. Seven from the convo types. And yeah. then, um, yep, just place them in front of you. With the intention that, for my speech that I'm making for the wave of leadership to impact the audience in such a way so they have the desire to want to learn more about the inflow matrix and the new paradigm toolkit. That's that's the power of this whole thing. Okay. The Enneagram is just a base. Okay. Okay, I've got them. Now turn yeah. them over. Turn them over. What's, what's uh, number one? Number one is remedy. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Good... Number, Number two. two is visioning. Okay. Number three is upgrade. Nice. Oh, cool. Wow, powerful. Okay. Four. I know. Number four is first contact. Okay. Cool. Five is healing. Oh, nice. Six is synthesis. Okay. And, and seven is sharing. <laughs> okay, very nice. Okay. Oh huh? So now let's uh, do.
do the same thing and let's cre create a value for each part. Okay, so I just got to grab the values card. Thank you. This is new paradigm business where we uh, use the tools to create what we're going to create, but a lot of times we don't quite know what's going to come up. And so right now we have a uh, remedy, visioning, upgrade, first contact, healing, synthesis, and sharing as convo types. Hey, I have the values cards. And Elijah, these get me so excited because when we're living in our values, whether it's the inner me, the outer me, the inner group, the outer group, honestly, there's something that's so deep about this. And I know using the tool, the, the synergy map, the inner group in my company has been very powerful for me in running my organization. So now I'm choosing a value for each of the convo types that I've chosen out of the seven and then putting a value on each one with the intention of having such a powerful talk that is going to impact so many people. Okay. So I'm going to lift it and I'll tell you what it is as I go. Okay. So remedy is expansion. Is what? Expansion. Okay. Visioning is habit. Uh, upgrade is imitation. First contact is generosity. Healing is, oh, independence. Synthesis is honor. And sharing is equanimity. Okay, so uh, now for the remedy, let's choose a choice lens for that one. Okay, so a choice lens for the remedy with the value of expansion, the choice card is feedback. Feedback. Yeah. Okay, now for habit visionary, let's choose a, a flow word. A flow word, so flow word for visioning and habit in my talk is gift. Is what gift? Gift. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. I know. Okay. Now, uh, synergy, the synergy lens. Okay. So the synergy and then the synergy uh, upgrade and imitation is planning. Planning. Aha. Uh -huh. Planning. I know. Wow. Okay. okay, now first contact, generosity, the harmony wheel lens. Harmony, perfect. It's already, so first contact, the value of generosity in harmony is justice. Huh. Actually, two cards fell out, justice and health. Okay, let's use both of them. Okay, I'm going to keep them both there. Okay. Then, then ne next one, do a synergy. Synergy for healing and independence to value the freedom from control and influence. Wow, is creativity. Okay, now flow wheel for the synthesis and honor. Flow for the syn synthesis and honor is strategy. Okay. And then a harmony again? Yeah, uh, no, then a choice. We, oh, choice, we right. Choice, flow, synergy, harmony, and then harmony. Oh, then harmony, synergy, synergy choice. So we're going oh, okay. from the inner to the top, we're crescendoing at the community, then we're coming back down to the individual. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's sharing and equanimity. And I'm drawing a choice card, and it is deadline. <laughs> Okay. Okay, now how does it how does it feel looking at those? Okay, so the deadline one kind of made my stomach go a little bit. 
<laughs> but I know I'm on a deadline with what has to happen here. Hey, so when, think, when does this have to be finished by? Uh, we got to have, I've got to have it recorded. Probably Monday we'll record it. No, but when's the deadline to send to her? Oh, um, next week. I have to get it to her. I was supposed to have it this week, but I said to her, they, I, my summer student doesn't start till right now. And she's the one helping me record. So it gave me a little, about a week's leeway. Okay, so which date, give me like? Monday. By next, by the 10th? Yeah. Let's say the 11th, I like that day better. Okay, that's when you're gonna send it to her? Yeah, the afternoon of the 11th. Okay. The event is until June. She changed the dates from, from May 21st, 22nd to June. Oh, uh, she doesn't have she's, oh. She's hired a studio, so she just wants us to have our stuff there for her. Right. Um, but I'm just thinking if it's in June, then we, like rather than rush it, because mm -hmm. if I'm going to edit it, then I'm mm -hmm. going to need a bit of time, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Okay. Just, okay. Well, I can, I can kind of talk to her and see like if how urgent it is just saying that I found someone in like that you are going to help me do this. Yeah. And see what she says, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so, I mean, I, I know this, we just added a massive level of complexity. Uh -huh. um, but let's just take a look at the condo types for now. Uh -huh. And look at the remedy. So tell me, what is, what is the remedy that you're, let's say, selling? So what I'm selling people is how and this was what i was asked to do was talk about personalities and the enneagram and how i incorporated it in my life my business and my community so that's what i was asked to speak about that's what she literally she goes because i see the way you run your business but she doesn't even know about the well, she knows a little bit about the inflow matrix because she met Lorianne when we were in bc years ago so, so the best solution that helps people out, the remedy that I want to do is I want people to be able to grow within organizations to new levels as individual people within organizations. Okay, did you write that down? Yeah. People could, you, could you say it again to me? So what I'd like to see the remedy is about people growing individually with and having that opportunity within organizations. above and beyond just the role of their job. Okay, and so and so that's your intro into the, the Enneagram profiles, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But do you know what do you know what I would do? I would go, okay, that mm -hmm. and then bring in the five communication spaces mm -hmm. and say, okay, here's a map from the new paradigm toolkit that mm -hmm. is going to that we use to give a, an understanding around the boundaries between what exists mm -hmm. then say um do you agree with that oh. and then you place the personality profiles the enneagram in that map within the personal space oh. and then you can show like at the very beginning if you because like let's say you're saying growing the individual within the organization but let's say within to, to build the new paradigm. Right. 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 So that's the added part to build a new paradigm. And so you start out at the very beginning with the new paradigm map. Because that oh. you're coming in so with the paradigm the five toolkit. Spaces? Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Before right. the five spaces is yeah. the uh, the paradigm map. Okay. One that I have behind me right now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. So that's just saying, because as I grew my business over these last 12 years, that's kind of the way that I've been growing it is through this new paradigm. And the okay. new paradigm, and part of the biggest part, or one of the biggest parts of the new paradigm is a lot of attention on the personal space, on the okay. inner world. Yeah. 
And that's how, if you want to grow the individual within the organization to build a paradigm, first you have to look at how they think. A lot of what are they on individuals. Yeah, like if you want to grow the individual within the organization to build a new paradigm, mm -hmm. you need new maps. Yeah, yeah. And so here's the first map shows the distinction between the paradigms. The next map shows these five communication spaces. And the remedy is like, actually, you're going to grow within the organization to build a new paradigm with tools. With tools. Okay. With tools. And that's still all the remedy. Yeah, this is still within the remedy. Okay. So you're setting up this whole thing is starting with a remedy where you have the remedy with the, building the paradigm. The remedy is within the five communication spaces map. And then you introduce the Enneagram and the personality profiles within the personal space of that map and then that is and you'll, that's, grow, you'll grow with these tools and the enneagram just becomes a tool yeah there you go one of the tools in the new paradigm toolkit yeah there you go and so oh, i just have to word this proper yeah okay now so, so that's the start mm -hmm. and then you have the setup with the visioning yeah where you now are looking at assisting the individuals to find their gifts and to bring in new habits. And, and then maybe the gifts, now you go into the personality profiles and now you go into the, um, the one through the nine and you give your, your here's the nine. And so you're, you're actually looking at the gifts of each of these personality profiles. Okay, so they're looking at the gifts of each of them rather than the best and the worst. Yeah, say the gift and let's yeah. say the chat, the gift and the shadow. That's great. So do we want to look at both of those, the gift and the shadow? Yeah, just like you got it set up. Yeah, okay, so the gift and the shadow. I like those words better than the best and the worst. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um, it is, but it's nicer words. But and, and looking at habit, so habit, envisioning gift, what you're doing is you're looking at mm -hmm. the habits, the underlying unconscious habits, which yeah. are basically more so the shadow elements, but we need to yeah. bring to the surface more of the gift elements. Okay. Okay. So, so that, the that setup, part, that the setup from a visioning convo is actually you're giving the vision of what would your organization look like if you actually knew about these personality profiles. Right. Okay you want to bring awareness to that so then oh this is great and so what would your organization look like bringing this tool or the enneagram to the organization yeah I should have stickies and just be writing them and then sticking them. Okay. Then there's upgrade. Now there's upgrade and imitation plan. Okay, let's just look at upgrade. Okay, so is that, so it's start, set up. Now it's build up. Build up, right. Yeah. So upgrade, I guess you could start out with, you know, right now to go into the new paradigm, the old organizations have to upgrade. No, okay. And just like you upgrade software, you have to upgrade the level of thinking in regards to basically systems thinking, right? And ethical okay. business and maybe ethical business. Yeah. So what would I put in there? Like what would I have there for a slide for an example or a little story? Um, I think that could be your story about the upgrade of your business of using the values map and the upgrade was you actually using a conscious value system. Okay. So would I have a copy of my map up there? Yeah. Okay. And I could tell the story about having a young guy working for me. I knew he wasn't working out. Like it just wasn't working. And I know he knew, but nobody was stepping up to the plate. We did the values map and within a week he found another job. So we were able to part and we're great friends now. We both knew 
that. Okay. So the upgrade at the beginning, you would say, and that's where your story of, okay, after finding the Enneagram, then ran into this guy who actually has a business system that runs on the Enneagram. Okay. Then I did okay. my values map and then. Okay, so then I found a, connected with someone that had this new paradigm system. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm all about like, isn't it amazing how the universe brings stuff to you? Because even my story on the introduction to the Enneagram for me is weird how that all worked, right? Mm. The guy that had a new paradigm system that was linked in with the Enneagram? Yeah, that was built okay. in the Enneagram. Okay. All right. And then, so this even makes it almost easier, you know? Okay. Yeah. And then we go to first contact. Yeah, first contact. Um, yeah, like what is that? That start, set up, build up? Crescendo, that's the crescendo. Oh. So maybe what you could talk about is, so when you meet someone new as a business, like a business is pretty much run on first contacts, right? For new yeah. clients. And, and then you go, okay, well, what's their personality type? You know, what's their personality Enneagram profile? And then you go, you have your value system, which is your sorting mechanism. So you're combining, okay, well, what, what type are they and what, what are my values? And that is going to sort out my first contacts. Mm -hmm. Like who am I going to align with and how? So that's talking about staff, a team of people, not the customers. Well, it could, it could be anybody, right? Like the first mm -hmm. contact Mm -hmm. is the first time you meet anybody. So they could be staff, they could be allies, they could be customers, you don't know. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how that fits into, because when I do the discovery process, I actually get people to do the personality test, but no other clients, you know, just the ones that go through the discovery. Right, well, and also I think you should do a soft sell on the discovery process. I mean, mm -hmm. I, there should be, Maybe now you could bring in the concept of of the Enneagram and money. Oh, and then that'll bring, okay. And bring in your story about that as you, because that's your crescendo. Your crescendo is I can yeah. use this system to help you make more money in this. Yeah. Right? Oh, so should I put the discovery process map on that slide? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And that's your crescendo and that's your main, there you, you, know, go. you could like basically each step yeah. should have one map as your main thing that you're talking. Okay. About. Yeah. Right. And then you're doing like five or 10 minutes of yeah. each one. Per, yeah. That simplifies okay. things. Cause the thing is that's like, it. whenever I see like, you got a lot of <laughs> written stuff here, but it's kind of like, you know, keep it so here's the map, mm -hmm. tell your story. Yeah. Here's how the maps connect and then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, crescendo and then the. Then healing. Healing, oh, but what what is that one? That's the crescendo, then the. Crescendo is ease out. Ease out, that's it. Okay. So healing. So to ease out of all this. Um, you might talk about, you know, um, I mean, you might even have a slide of a healing convo mm -hmm. and talk about, you know, another tool of these convo types and that when you're going into these areas, mm -hmm. there's a lot of healing that has to happen. Like if you go, the reason most people don't go into the personal space is, you know, there's wounds, there's pain, there, there's like darkness, there's the shadow mm -hmm. side. So the shadow side of the any is being shown in the Enneagram. And then people are more willing. Part of what you do is you're healing their relationship with money. Mm -hmm. So I would really like that ease out on, and through creativity, like independent, you're, you're helping people heal their relationship with money because that's mm -hmm. going to be another soft sell in terms. And part of, of that is understanding themselves better. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'll put in there for a... Um... 
a map. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to use the word healing in this, in this, uh, but yet it makes sense. Well, just, I mean, the new paradigm, I mean, the thing is business doesn't talk about healing, but the right, that's is traveling the world. I think you got to bring in stuff that most people, yeah. want, right? So what would you, I mean, yeah, you can have the healing card up there and then what the con, all the conversations to do with that? Well, you might bring in, I mean, maybe bring in the clearing convo, the healing convo and conflict resolution, those three types. Oh, okay. And you may, and bring in a bit about common types and go look at most organizations. You know, there's a lot of conflict underneath that never gets healed, isn't cleared. And that's what kills the information flow in your organization, right? Right, right. And then the conflict resolution, then could I bring in the convo killer cards or something and then tell that little yeah. bit of that story? Yeah. And then bring then the six for synthesis. Yeah. Um, What's that one? That's ease out. And then that's connect and unify. Connect and unify. Right. Okay. Yeah. So then okay. we could bring in a couple convo killer cards. Yeah. That would be actually kind of good here. Actually, um, what do you think? I'm just wondering if maybe the convo killer cards come into the healing convo. Okay. Saying, you know, the shadow side of the business, these things are occurring, but we don't know how to deal with them. Yeah, because they're happening within the business only because the individuals within the business are going through this. So rather than would I have the healing and then have some convo cards with it? Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm just wondering if the like if you we start with the convo killers and then go to the healing, clearing and conflict resolution. Oh, so reverse that. Yeah. And put that as the synthesis. I see. OK, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. OK. And then the convo killer cards would go over to the ease out. Yeah. Okay. And then all, I, all I'm going to do is I'll take, you have those cards, eh? Like if I pick three yeah. or four that I want to talk about, you can send them to me, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Combo killer cards. And then just a little story of how we use those in my organization as well, because yeah. communication is a key thing between, you know, not only the owner of the organization or the CEOs with the department heads, but also all the people within that department or within that organization. And that doesn't matter if that's being sitting on a board within a community or if it's sitting in an organization or it's being on a team. Let's say it was a curling team of four people. You know, I want to really expand that because remember it's about self, teams, business, and okay, I'll just be, I'll just be five minutes. Okay. So then I'm going to do combo killer cards on the ease out. I'll put maybe four cards on there. I'm going to see. Then I'm going to go into the healing relationships to money. Yep. Okay. That'll be good. Well, you might start out like you're, you've brought in your crescendo and your money and your relationships and then you're going into healing your relationship with money but what gets in the way most of the time is communication right where and that's where you bring in the convo killers oh so they're going to be under con connect and unify no no they're they're still in ease out but i'm just saying that like the beginning of that yeah is you speaking about healing uh, your relationship with money okay and a big part of that is miscommunication okay and then you go into the convo killers oh there we go okay so big part is miscommunication because that's a big thing and that's even if it's in couplehood or whatever it is right and i would say like at the beginning when you're talking about you're growing your individual within the organization yeah. That, that a big part of that is is giving better communication skills. Okay. And in order to do that, we need to understand ourselves better and why we yeah. okay. that, then okay. the program comes in. Okay. 
So now I got that. So healing your relationship with money is part of part of the big thing of not having that is miscommunication. So yeah. look at what are one of the biggest diseases out there in people's lives is is money and the communication around it. Because you can so the blaming. Already seen the discovery process. That was the one crescendo. Then we go into the convo killers. Then we go to synthesis, which I've got uh, healing relationship to money there on the synthesis. So, yeah. And that's you're bringing in the idea of conversation types. Okay. And that you, you bring the example of a healing, a clearing, and a conflict resolution. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and then some maybe stories about how you guys cleared things mm -hmm. after using the condo killers to like, how did you clear, like how would people come up to you and go, you're interrupting. So what we would do in our organization is we had them all the conversation killers, right? It visible. So we had copies on our big board. And if someone caught somebody or something happened and it was a conversation killer, because we're all aware of them, we're totally on a shared system here knowing what the conflict um, killers are then if somebody saw someone doing a conversation killer they would grab the card and they would just walk up to the person and show them the card and it actually became very powerful because we we're all on the same page with it but it made us aware for example mine was as an owner of the organization mine was interruption so i want interruption up there for sure because what I was doing is I've got my frontline people. They were my first contact with my customers or my clients. And I would, they would be talking at the front counter doing business. And I'd walk up, oh, how are you doing? You know, da, da, da. And I take it right out of what I was doing. So I was interrupting. So what that did for me is it made me aware of interruption. And guess what? I slowly got out of interruption because I caught myself. That was my common theme to a conversation killer. One of our staff, it was jab. She would give little fun poking jabs, but they were kind of, you know, she got caught with jab. So it really woke us up to the one, the habits that we kind of had in conversation killers. Okay, awesome. So then I would have as your example of the condo killers, the interruption, the jab, and any other that you've got a good story about. Okay, okay. I'll put four, four up for now. Okay. And then sharing. I could put six actually so people see them, but I'll only talk about two. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then, okay. Now sharing what is the ending or the cell yeah. or whatever. So in the sharing, you can bring up the fact that there are 30 condo killers and there's an actual card set that's part of the conscious communication card set. And as a gift, you'd like to share the, the uh, condo killers with you. So you start to understand how they're used. Mm -hmm. And that's the beginning of them, of you starting the sales process with them. Oh, perfect. Get some and can I say that we have a process for using them? Like they yeah. won't get the process. They're just going to get the cards, like yeah. a, a, a copy on the email. Yeah. And then okay. you could have a, a follow-up course of, let's say, $50 of mastering the condo killers where you take them through each one kind of thing and oh, have, have okay. some little ideas about that. Yeah. Okay. So we have, we have a program or a, a training to go with these convo cards. So that's something... I'm going to offer you, like, I'm going to offer them the cards, period. That's an offer. Yeah. But then to go with it, a discount or something on doing the training or what? I, I would do a soft sell and not mention that, but when you send them the cards, mm -hmm. have, a, okay. have a video that goes with it, yeah. says, here's the cards you can use. Okay. And if you want to get the training, that is. <gasps> oh, that's perfect. So the convo cards with the short video. With the next. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna have to kind of just think about how I want that to look at the very end because that's a big deal that, what's the end called again? The, the finish. 
finisher, finisher the cell, yeah. Okay, because that's gonna be powerful, that finish. What did I say? I'm just looking to see what I did for a finish here. Kaylee was bugging me. Also, I well, well, another thing could be like, I, I have something I wanted to show you, but I don't want to sort of get in your flow or overwhelm you because I finished the survey. Uh -huh. And so oh. part of it could be also, if you want to go deeper into what we're doing, fill out this survey. Oh, okay. I, and I don't have to really tell them that on there because it'll just no. go as part of the package. Yeah, that's in the package at the bottom. Yeah. The survey. Yeah. Too. yeah. So, so the finale, this is kind of my finale. So now you've seen kind of examples of and samples of new paradigm tools that I use within my organization and have used for the last, uh, since 2011. And it has continually reminded me that in life, we are on a great and miraculous journey. And we can have a rich and joyful life if we are willing to let go of those old self-defeating habits and beliefs about who we really are, whether we're in self, in business, or in community. So when we're able to share our personal experiences with an understanding in a field of compassion and presence, our souls grow and we can easily experience the shared humanity in all of us. So I feel that when we all work together in service of each other, we can make a real difference in the world. Like John Lennon says, you may be say I'm a dreamer. And as Harriet Truman said, every great dream begins with a dreamer. So always remember you have it within you, the strength, the patience and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. I am sending blessings to all of you and those whose lives you will touch. Done. Very nice. How do you like that finale? Is that good? I like it. Yeah. No, I like it. Okay. I just, I, you know, they have to, I guess the, the, the difference with writing things that are written down is, is there's, yeah. there's a, it's, you know, it's not as easy to be sincere about something no. that's becoming no, it's not. thought about, right? Yeah. Okay. So, it, so just to balance it, like to real, either memorize it or, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're not going to know it's written down, but I got to do it in such a way so it doesn't look like I'm reading it or, or sound to feel like. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I have a notary I have to go do at 1.15, so the timing is perfect. Okay. okay. Um, I think, you know what, this really gave me insight. So Elijah, so what I'm going to need, I'm going to need the new paradigm map. Yeah. I'm going to need the five communication space map yeah i know they might be around here somewhere but if i can just get those in one thing yeah, yeah well said and, and then i've got all the the habits and the gifts i already got all those slides then i'm going into the story of my values map with lr future yeah then i need so then the enneagram profiles i was doing the enneagrams wasn't i doing them right at the beginning Profiles is number two during the setup. Right, right. Discovery process map is yep. in the first contact, okay? And about this story of Enneagram and money, okay? Then it'll lead me into, um, I'm going to need the Congo Killer cards, and they'll determine. I'm going to put six up, but I'm only going to talk about two just to give people a little bit more understanding. Okay. Then I'm going to go into the healing, clearing, conflict resolution cards that'll be up on the screen. Okay. And then at the very end, we're going to talk about the 30 combo killers. Like I have a gift for you and it will be coming to you. And then what we'll do is we'll get a video created, right? It won't take long to do that. I don't need that right now, but that'll be the takeaway, the giveaway. Okay, well, that's, uh, there you go. So, so what I just did with you, mm -hmm. you could do with other people, right? Like right. It's to help them clarify what they're writing, you bring in the seven steps, yeah. you bring in the combo types. And yeah. it may be, you know, there's, we didn't really use the values and the, the choice lenses. That's almost like another layer to do afterwards, right? You can just yeah. use like, the combo cards and that's strong enough, right? Yeah. But yeah. the others, they, they really add focus if it's necessary. Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess showing them my map, 
I'll just touch in on a spot or two of my LR future map that I used. And then, you know, I guess, and now in the visionary hub, so I think that'll come to the end here is now that I have my company is my investment firm is now sold. Now I'm doing money coaching. And now we've started what's called the visionary hub. And then that's how we can get contacted now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cause I'll have my Laureate LR future and I'll have the visionary hub up there and I'll have a Facebook, you know, how to contact me. Okay. The last slide. As she okay. said, how many people have signed up yet? No, I, I haven't even asked her. You might want to ask just to see, because it, it- I will, I will. 20 or 30 people and- Yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, they're going to be qualified. That's for sure. Yeah, for but sure. I think, I think this is a great exercise for you to do a one hour video to, like this is the beginning of you teaching, right? This is more of a yeah. soft sell promo video, but at some point you're going to be making videos to teach, right? Yeah, yeah, you got her. Okay, awesome, Elijah. So, okay, so if you get those to me, then Kaylee and I can put them into the slides. Okay. And I'll send you the slides I have right now, just so that you've got them, just so you can look at them. Okay. Okay. Well, sounds like you, you got to do a revamping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a bit of revamping, and that's okay, because I the nine personalities with the shadow side and the gift side, we're just going to change the words on there. Yeah. Those are the key things. The rest will all come together. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And I'm going to send you the survey. Okay. And then you can give me feedback around what you think of it and all that kind of thing. Perfect. Okay. So Elijah will send survey. Awesome. Okay. Super. And then we can start determining when you're able to come down. Right. I can't wait. Uh, we have buddies, people that live at the lake and they go out to BC all the time. They have a condo in... I don't know, somewhere in BC, Vernon. Oh, really? Yeah, they drive out. They go spend two weeks. She's a teacher. She's a vice principal in a school. So they go spend two weeks out there. He's retired firefighter. Okay. But I know they're a little bit strict. Like, And we want you here when we're able to have people in here. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. See you soon. Okay. Thank you. Bye.